Hey everyone, Kathy Pippen here, and um, I am having a very special guest for you all. I know those of you who have been following my videos, um, it's going to be a fantastic day of information for you guys. So I wanted to bring on Jimmy Boone. He is with uh, Cardinal Financial. That's right and he is a loan officer and uh, he is amazing he's helped me and my clients on so many occasions lucky to work with you Kathy. Lucky <laughs> thank to work with you, you. <laughs> um but i asked him i said come on let's give some more information because i know all of you guys out there whether you're buying or selling yeah. they are thirsty of some good accurate information definitely and so um so here we are and um, by the way, and this and this video, please, this is live. So send us your questions, message us your questions right now. We're happy to answer them. Definitely. So Definitely. let's start with Jimmy. Tell everybody a little bit about yourself. All right. Well, first of all, thank you for letting me uh, join the podcast, join the show today. Uh, really excited about it. And uh, like Kathy said, the most important thing is we want to bring value to you all. Um, my name is Jimmy Boone. I work with my father, Jim Boone. We're a father and son team over at Cardinal Financial. Um, and you know, what our whole motto is, is really just to treat everybody like family. And uh, if you have any questions at all, because obviously, as you know, this business, oh, yes. it's always updating, always changing, guidelines oh, are always okay. moving. So, uh, you know, we always say there's no dumb questions at all in this business. So right. uh, if, if you're not sure of something, please make sure you reach out and, and ask a question to, you know, a lender or a realtor and, and make sure that you get those questions answered. And that's why we're here. So Absolutely, absolutely. And we're going to start with like a few questions um, so it can help you guys. So um, on the finance part of the business of buying the property, um, the interest rates really matter. Uh, the qualification, especially if you're buying with a loan, matters a lot. So, so Jimmy, tell us about at least what are the most important factors for somebody who's looking to buy yeah. in terms of their they can get their best interest rates? Okay, so the, the most important factors in someone's interest rate, um, obviously, which I'm sure most of people might know, the most important factor is gonna mm. be your credit score. Mm. Um, so when you're getting a mortgage, uh, you know, most people don't realize that this is a hard inquiry, so it's different than you're, when you're looking at a FICO score on your bank account or you know Credit Karma. So you're getting a hard inquiry, which means that they're pulling from all three of the major credit bureaus. You're gonna have TransUnion, Equifax, mm -hmm. and Experian. Um, so when you're getting qualified, it's not qualified off of your highest score, unfortunately, mm -hmm. but it's also not qualified off your lowest score of the three. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be your middle score. So if you have a 700 score, a 680 and a 660, you're gonna be qualified off that 680, your middle score. Gotcha. Um, and then the second thing is gonna be your loan to value, mm. um, which what loan to value means is, uh, you know, it's whatever your principal loan balance is to the value of the home. So for example, if you were to put down 3% on a home, mm -hmm. then your loan to value would be 97% out of 100% because you put down 3% on a down payment. Uh, and then the last factor would be your debt to income ratio. Mm. Uh, and what that is, it's all your monthly debt divided by your gross income. So when I say gross, that is that is before taxes. So if you make $60,000 a year, you divide that by 12, and that is what we go off of you know, to mm. qualify for your income. And then you're, it's, it's all taken in consideration against your monthly debt. So if someone owes $10,000 on their student loans, yeah. that's not a big deal. We, we only qualify you off of your monthly, your monthly payment. So if you have a $100 monthly payment, that's what you're qualified off of, uh, not the overall not debt. Not the overall. Yeah. Okay, so that's, those are amazing uh, uh, categories that I don't think a lot of people know yeah. that what's involved. I think, I think most people think, okay, credit score. That's yeah. it. That's it. You know, they have the best credit score, highest the better. But there are two, these two other factors that really play into um, into your uh, mortgage rate um, yeah. when you're planning to buy. So that's that's great. And and I and people who maybe they're 
uh, credit score is not as high. Mm -hmm. um, are they things that they can do? I Definitely. Mean, so I mean, at least at Cardinal Financial, we go down to as low as a, a, a 580 uh, middle score. So um, you know, which first of all is great because not not a lot of companies offer that. Um, but secondly. You know, if you do have a lower end of the credit score, we, we work to get your score up. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, what, you, what you're going to want to do is, even if it's not me or, you know, anyone else really, yeah. any local lender, you want to reach out and you want to get an application in, see where you stand, uh, and they have the ability to do what's called a credit rescore. Uh, so what that is, is, you know, we're given, once we pull your report, we're given numbers on how high we can get your score if you were to do certain things. Uh, you know, to get your scores up. Now, obviously, we're not credit consultants and we can't yeah. get your scores up hundreds of points, but, um, you know, if you are within range, like 10 points away, 20 points away, um, a credit rescore is definitely a great option with your local lender uh, in order to get your, you know, yeah. scores up. And I remember that um, you have helped few of my clients, um, our clients, yeah. with that, um, it, you know, I remember some of them took, you know, a matter of a few weeks. Some of them took a matter of a few months. Yeah. But but we kept them on track, of and and helped them. Definitely. You helped them to get the score up. So that's uh, that's great. Not a lot of people do that, but it's important for buyers um, yeah. to know that. For sure, and, I, and that's a great point, Kathy. Because I feel like a lot of people are always scared, especially when they yeah. haven't, you know, checked that's their scores right. in a while. That's right. But trust. The most important thing is that, you know, you at least try and you go out and kind of see where you stand because once you do that, that's going to be the scariest step you take. You know, seeing where you are, seeing where you need to, to go, where you need to start from. Right. And then once that's, that's right. done, once you have a plan on how to get it going and how to get right. it up, I mean, it's you're going to be so much happier with yourself that one, you know you're on a plan and two, it's obtainable. I mean, it's so much more obtainable to get... Your your credit right. scores raised than people think it is. Um, so yeah, I so mean, yeah, that's, not, that's... not don't be scared. Yeah. <laughs> Long story a... short, don't be scared. <laughs> yeah. There's always solution for things. Definitely. Okay, so it's just a matter of teaming up with the right people, really, to guide you through it. Um, so that's great. Now, what are what are the rates hovering around <laughs> these yeah, days? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if uh, you know, I'm sure people have uh, might have been seeing what's going on in the market recently. Yeah. Uh, you know, with inflation and all that stuff. I mean, uh, where rates were at the beginning of the year, uh, definitely they've they've raised since then, um, and it's kind of been fluctuating on a you know quarter point, um, okay. and you know yeah. to an eighth of a point between you know weeks. Really, I mean, it's fluctuated, and, and um, you know, to, I'd say to yeah. this week, it's kind of plateaued a little okay. bit, but. Um, you know, my thoughts are honestly, it might plateau for another week or two, three couple, three weeks. But you know, I wouldn't be surprised if rates start, you know, continuing yeah. to creep up on us, you know, yeah. by the end of the year. But you know, at, with, with that being said, though, they're still historically low, All right. and uh, obviously with how incredibly low they were the last mm -hmm. couple of years, I think we got a little, uh, you know, ahead of ourselves because right. I mean that was absolutely record-breaking lows. These these interest rates are still low, um, so absolutely. if you're a first-time home buyer, you know. Right in there in the, in the mid threes is still a phenomenal, a phenomenal rate to buy. buy your I first remember time. rates back in like six percent, yeah. eight percent, yeah. twelve. I yeah. mean, <laughs> exactly. Back yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, oh wow, that's that's really good information. Yeah. Um, that thank you so yeah, much. Yeah. Well, with that being said, I mean, uh, obviously, you know, the loan is one aspect of it. Most, you know, to get you know where you understand on a monthly payment basis and total out of pocket costs, because obviously those yeah. are you know, where you want to be in terms of, okay, well, how much, how much can I buy? What am I comfortable buying? Where am I comfortable being at? And, uh, that's obviously where you come in and where, where, uh, you know, you really guide your buyer on what to buy and this, that, and the other. And what I would say is in uh, a question to ask you is what advice, uh, would you give to someone buying a house in this market and to someone selling a, mar a house in this market? Yeah, go those are great questions, Jimmy. Um, yeah. So for buyers, absolutely. With what we just talked about, it is so important that all the buyers, doesn't matter if it's your first time, second time, third time, you're buying for as an investment, really does not matter. 
that you need to get your ducks in a row. You need to get your financing in a row if you're getting it with, if you're purchasing with a loan. Uh, and if you need to work on some of the aspects of it, like we just talked about, you need time to work those out. So that's my number one. And really pairing up with, with an experienced lender, an experienced realtor early on in your uh, purchase process. Um, and the market is so com competitive that you really need uh, knowledgeable people on by your side. So, mm -hmm. and then for sellers, for sellers as well, in this market, this is, <laughs> you've never have had this many buyers yeah. for one house yeah. before. I mean, the last it's couple of- It's a good problem years, to have. I know, I yeah. know, right? Right, it's a good problem to have. Yeah. But but in the last couple of years, it's been like that. But yeah. and, the, and this year is predicted to be like that as well. And, and prediction of their sales price to still continue going up. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, we're fortunate we're in um, DC, uh, DC, Maryland, Virginia area yeah. and, um, you know, Properties hold their values, so you can't go with go wrong with buying anything in this in this area. But yeah, for sellers, absolutely, this is the time. If you are thinking and your plans are to sell, absolutely get your house ready though, because um, that makes That's a big key. difference yeah. in how much that uh, you can sell it for, yeah. even in the and hot how market. Quickly too, right? That's right. Yeah. That's right. So the nicer the house is, the the more um, the more attractive it is. Uh, the many more people are interested in that. So um, that's really really important to know. Definitely. Absolutely. So you guys, um, please message us. Message anything below. If another uh, a question comes up later on, maybe you watch this at late at night. Maybe you're watching this over the weekend. Just let me know. We'll get um, together. We can have continue this conversation and cater it to be really to your situation because every yeah. buyer and seller is different. For sure, for sure. And, uh, and it seems like all the the interest rates and all that can be really customized to your situation. And you know, you cannot compare the rate that you're getting with your neighbor who just bought because there's so many other factors yeah, involved. Um, exactly. So it's, it involves a good conversation and really understanding. So that's why we're here. We're here for that. We're, ha we're so happy to educate yeah. people. And um, that's what we do every day, Definitely. right? We educate our, our clients uh, from both sides, lending and, and the actual purchase. So anyway, um, let us know, message me, and I will get Jimmy uh, involved as well. And uh, now let's tell them that we are starting this. Yes. Right? Yep. <laughs> so anytime for the next year, at least, that we have planned, every month we're going to be you know getting together, going over where the market's at, uh, certain things that you guys can do to win homes and uh, you know, just different programs different, and yeah. just different things just in the real estate industry. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, anything, anything that, and, and actually any other topics that within real estate that you want to, you want us to talk about, you want us to answer certain questions, please message us, yeah. uh, message me there and I will be happy to incorporate that into our next Definitely. So, by the way, I wanted to show this beautiful yes, card in all here. This is our mascot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Cardinal Financials. Thank yeah. you very much, Jimmy. Yeah, definitely. I appreciate it. And until next time, guys, bye. Thank you so much for listening. Bye-bye.